What's up, Space Pirates? This is your captain, the Dread Pirate Doctor Disaster, and it doesn't feel like I get the opportunity to talk about games that I'm actually excited about playing very often. Most of the time, we have to talk about real stinkers, because the industry just keeps pumping out turds. But Mecha Break is an exception. Give me a hell yeah! And I'm certainly not the only one who thinks this way. The beta for the game is out right now, and they've had over 50,000 concurrent players trying the game out because it's just a fun romp. And it absolutely blows away the beta for a game like Concord, which ended a few weeks ago at just a bit over 2,000 players. This is what happens when you let players create their own characters, like they do in Mecha Break, as opposed to forcing ugly trolls onto the gamers, which is of course what Concord does. And now, Mecha Break has stepped up and done the right thing one more time, earning our trust by removing censorship from their game, considering how popular this sort of move is making this game, and how unpopular that woke shit like Concord is, it's clear that a path for change is emerging in the gaming industry. A new power is rising! Its victory is at hand! To war! <laughs> Alright me hearties, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter where I keep a list of games lousy with wokeness pinned to my account at all times for your reference. My handle on there is Dr. Disaster one But anyways, Mecha Break is decidedly not a game that belongs on that list because they just keep doing everything right. I don't know why it is that these days the only developers out there with the courage to make games that aren't chock full of woke shit seem to come from China and South Korea, but that's the truth of it. I guess the cultures of those countries haven't been ideologically captured yet like it has been here in the West. But anyhow, Mecha Break was made by Amazing CSUN Games, which is based in China, and the game looks like it will be a blast. There was news that popped up on my Twitter feed the other day that had me rolling my eyes for a minute. It looked like, in the chat for this game, in the chat for Mecha Break, they were censoring one political candidate's name here in the United States, but not his opponents. I'm not going to get into all that stuff here. Frankly, I'm not sure why someone would even want to talk politics on a video game anyway. I think it's bad form to talk about that sort of thing in a space where people are just trying to get some escapism, but I also don't think that censorship is a good idea, and certainly not censorship that has bias against one candidate. But here's the cool thing. So, Grums, aka Mark Kern, the former team lead of the OG World of Warcraft, someone told him about this censorship, which he verified himself was happening, and then he reached out to the Mecha Break community manager. And you know what? They got this fixed right away. Grums posted this update to his own tweet saying, Update, after I reported the issue and emailed their community manager, Mecha Break apologizes and says they have fixed the issue in real time. I can confirm I tested it and issue is fixed. Now that is a breath of fresh air coming from these games. Usually, if we bring up an issue like this, they will either deny it's happening or ignore us, or lecture us about how we should be in favor of censorship because they believe they have the correct opinions and anyone who disagrees with them is evil. Well, not these guys. Mecha Break, the people who make that game, act like an actual business and respond to customer complaints when it's reasonable. Frankly, this is so basic that it shouldn't have to be viewed as brilliant, but this day and age, that's what it seems like. 
brilliant! Another bit of brilliance from this game, and the reason that it's beating the shit out of the likes of Concord right now, is the character creation mode in Mecha Break. It's a fix for a problem that has been plaguing games for a while now. Most of these jackasses that make modern games purposely force us to use female characters that look like trolls or effeminate little simps for the male characters. A character creation mode that looks like this, what you're seeing in the background, solves the problem being created by these woke lunatics. They always complain about representation, that, oh, everyone wants to see themselves in video games. Well, if that's what people actually want, then they will create it, won't they? But I highly doubt, when given the choice, that there will be many characters that look like this in Mecha Break. This gross troll comes from Concord, which, as I said before, that game only got about 2,400 players to play their free beta a few weeks ago, which is sad since the game releases in a little over a week. But nobody cares about that shit. Nobody is excited to play a game that is as blatantly woke as that. Contrast that to Mecha Break, where the characters can look however you want them to look, and the difference is staggering. Mecha Break is getting 40 to 50,000 players on their beta, and it isn't even due to come out until next year. It is currently ranked 21st on the Steam wishlist chart, and I expect that number will rocket up even more as it gets closer to launch. For reference, Concord is the 751st most wishlisted game, which is sad as hell for a title that is backed by Sony and due to come out in about a week. It's ranked 5077 on the top sellers chart, and once again, that's sad as hell. But you know what isn't sad as hell? Black Myth Wukong, which is currently the top seller and the top most wishlisted game on Steam. And what does that game have in common with Mecha Break? Well, it is decidedly not woke. They allegedly gave Sweet Baby Inc. the middle finger when Sweet Baby asked to be consultants on the game. And as I said the other day when discussing Black Myth, it doesn't even matter if this is true. The important part is that the developers of the game denounced that woke crap publicly, and the result is that gamers are flocking to it. If you ever needed a white pill, look at these two games. Look at Mecha Break and Black Myth Wukong. Definitive proof that the vast majority of people out there, the vast majority of gamers, just want games to be fun again. But I will leave it there. Have any of you played the Mecha Break beta yet? Drop your thoughts on this subject in the comment section below, and we will talk there. Thanks for watching me, hearties. If you haven't already, your captain is inviting you to subscribe to the channel and become a part of the crew. Life as a space pirate may not be glamorous, but there's always plenty of boots.